Rexy, careful, dude. You're super dizzy. Don't try and stand up by it. <laughs> now run as fast as you can. Hello and good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. We are starting out this week. Super excited. Kids are already at school. I gotta take my new car again, you guys. I love it. It's so amazing. Cruz is excited to go to school today to tell everyone how he did on his motocross race because he's still so excited about it. Hazy has school today. So we have chosen this for her outfit today. I bought this really cute little jumper and it comes with like the little bottoms. I bought this from Zara. It's a really fun new place they have here. You guys have all probably heard of it. We just don't have very many of them here. Oh, and you want to wear this? Yeah. And one of your cute new bows? Mom, no, Mom. I want to wear it with at school. I want to wear it at school. Okay, let's get you changed. Draw a dress. Look how cute she looks today. Cute little jean jumper, cute shoes, and I love your bow. Are you excited for school today? Uh -huh. Guys, counting down the days till we get this cast off on Thursday. Yeah. The mm. uh, uh, uh. Thumbs up, huh? Good girl. Grab your backpack. Let's go. Right here. Already. Good job. Let's go to school. So Hazy's at school kind of makes me sad still. I'm sure that I'll get used to this, but I was thinking like next year, Brexton will be in school all day because really I only get like an hour and 45 minutes because by the time I drop Hazy off, I have to pick Brexton up at 10.50. I really don't get that much time, which is actually kind of good because I miss him. But then next year, I'm gonna get like two and a half hours and then it just gets longer after that. It's just crazy how they just grow up and they leave your house. So sad. I know I have a preschooler and I'm like stressing out all of you moms out there that have college age kids and high school kids. I don't know how you do it. I'm gonna go get a couple things done and I can't wait to pick up Brex and Hazy again. We just got Brex from school today. We're just waiting for Hazy to come out. Did you have a good day today? Yes. Yes. What did you do today? We, the writing teacher came in. Oh, tell them the song about the number two. Curve around and slide to the right. Curve around and slide to the right. That's how we make the number two. What about number one? Slide straight down and slide straight down and that is all. Slide straight down and that is all. That's how we make the number one. Those are pretty cool songs. What's your favorite part of school? Tell them what you told me. Recess. <laughs> Isn't every kid's favorite part of school recess or lunch or something? You're a pretty big stud. Hey Z, how was school today? Good. Was it good? Did you have a good time? We're kind of not nice. <laughs> you love school. Cool. Yeah. What up everybody? Welcome to this special after school edition of Brandon and Rye Guy. Oh. <laughs> That's not actually a thing. It's just me and Rye Guy today because we're gonna do something special. We have a very exciting thing we wanna tell you guys about and share with you. We actually have partnered with Intel. You guys have probably heard of Intel because who hasn't heard of Intel? Uh -huh. And they have a brand new computer. Yep. It's a mini computer. It is so legit. And Rye Guy, as you guys know, moving up in school, getting some harder projects, gotta do some research for some things. Also, living that vlog life, a little bit of a video editor tech Guy, things like that. So we thought, you know what? What's a good computer we can get for Rye Guy so that he can start using some of the computers? Because dad's always on one editing, mom's always on one doing blogs and doing all the orders, sending out the swag and the merch. So we thought, let's get Rye Guy this brand new Intel computer. So we partnered up with Intel and we're gonna show you what this computer is all about. Should we open it up? Yeah. To the Bingham family, we hope you enjoy your new mini PC. It's all set up. Enjoy from the Intel team. Dude, how cool is this, bro? Okay, here it is. Check it out. The Intel NUC NUC. So it's NUC, spelled NUC mini PC. Go ahead and take it out, right, guy? Very nicely packaged. I like the bright blue box. Let's see what we got in here. Let's crack this open. Whoa. Wait a minute. What? This is a computer? Okay, so this is the mouse. This is the keyboard that they sent us. Dude, look how cool this keyboard is. Yeah, it's a very that's mini like computer. Legit. But guys, right, guy, this is going to blow your mind. Whoa. This is the computer. That's it. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude. What the? Were you picturing this when I said we were getting you a computer? No. No, dude. No way. This That's is so legit. rad. So many options for this mini PC. I mean, this thing, you can literally hook up anything to. This is gonna be so great. So we can hook up our hard drives to there for storing your video clips. There's the power button right there. And then on this back side, you can put in HDMI, USB, Ethernet. Dude, this has got everything. Let's Whoa. get this thing set up. SD card reader? My MacBook doesn't have an SD card reader. So inside the box right here, it says that the Intel NUC mini PC allows you to do everything your tower PC can do. I'm actually pretty excited to see if that's true because we're gonna be playing with this thing over the next few weeks, you guys, and we'll check in like every 
every week probably to let you know how it's holding up, what new things Rag Eyes figured out to do with it, what it can and can't do. And so we're basically just gonna be reviewing this thing, telling you what we think about it. We are pretty stoked on the possibilities here because if this thing can hold up to a tower PC and can do the things that a tower PC can do, but in this tiny form factor, and this will hook up to anything. We can hook this up to our TV right here. We could hook this up to- The basement? The basement in the theater. Rag Eye, I got a little something else for you too yeah. though, because you're gonna need something. You need like a monitor or something so that you can see what you're doing. You got the keyboard, you got the mouse. What do you think if we put it on your very own projector? What? <laughs> so dude, we're gonna be using this projector as your monitor so that we can see what we're doing and we're gonna have a ton of fun with this over the next few weeks. So stick with us, you guys. You won't wanna miss as we play with this more, all of the things that it's capable of and all that it can do. So first things first, as we open this up here, you've got the actual mini PC unit. Inside here, what do we got, right guy? Oh, look at this, built with Windows 10. So it literally has Windows 10 running on it. I just can't believe it can do it in this tiny little thing. This is a mount so you could mount it somewhere. What do you got here, right guy? Power brick, cables that you might need, adapters. So I think we've got everything we need to set this up. Should we set it up and turn it on? Let's do it. I was gonna do like this whole parental supervision thing and help you set it up. This is so freaking simple, dude. I'm gonna have you do it because I think you could totally do it. Okay. Done. <laughs> For the purposes of this video, guys, we're gonna go ahead and use the TV today. We'll use the projector, we'll save that for next time. So don't miss the next video as we break out the projector and play with that. Very, very simple setup. Go ahead and turn it on, right, guy. Let's get it started. Oh, that was pretty rad, dude. Dude, this is so rad. Let's set up the keyboard and mouse so we can actually get this thing going. Let's go ahead and get logged in here. He's got his wireless keyboard, wireless mouse, and look at this, you guys. He's controlling the computer screen right there, and this says the Bingham's on. It's already been set up for us by Intel, so thank you for getting that fired up, getting our profile on there. Go ahead and type in our password, right, guy? Dude, I am, like, stoked, bro. You literally have your own PC right now. There are so many things we have in mind for this, you guys. We're gonna try video editing on it. We're gonna try some gaming on it. We're gonna try some homework. Of course, you gotta actually use it for some, you know, no, studying obviously, yeah. but we are gonna do so many fun things with this. So let's get this thing going. So amazing, this thing runs on Windows 10. You've got everything you would That's have in awesome. Windows 10. So let's get the internet set up on this so we can do some more things with it. We're getting set up on the internet. We literally have everything you could possibly want to do at your fingertips. Dad, and all of this is just this. <laughs> Amazing. We cannot wait to see what we do with this, what we explore, what we find, how we're able to put this to use over the next few weeks. Do not miss it. Check out the link in our description if you wanna order one of these up, if you wanna see what it's all about. We've put a link in the description. Click on that link, follow it through, learn everything you can about the NUC from Intel. We are gonna be enjoying this thing for a long time. It's awesome. And comment below, what's the first thing you want us to try and do with it? What do you wanna see if this is capable of? Because I have mine. I wanna see if we can edit videos. I want Rye Guy to start editing some vlogs for his own YouTube channel. Comment below, what do you guys want to see Rag Guy do with this? What do you want to see us put it to the test to see if it can do? Because right now, we are seriously impressed with the power of this little guy. Kids squared away, they're off doing some piano. We'll give you more information about that coming up later, but I'm off running some errands real quick while mom takes care of that. I have picked up some Fertilome Weed Free Zone Weed Killer. We've got a major weed problem, did the yard today, and just wanna get those weeds taken care of, so I went and picked up some of this, and now on my way back, I am at a place you guys are all very familiar with, the United States Post Office, drop it off. Some of your merch coming your way. Got the bag filled up a little bit here. Oh, Costco, do we have a Costco haul coming up? Yes, we do. Brandon just got home. We are just about to take Crew over to his flag football. You guys, Crew and Brexton are doing flag football. Ryler decided he didn't want to. Swim is kind of a lot for him. So I'm hurrying to get a dinner in the oven and make something up yummy. Gotta show you guys what I'm making. This is a tortellini bake. So it's just tortellini with Alfredo and marinara, and then you put a little bit of cheese on top and then bake it, and it's super easy and yummy. So that's what I'm doing tonight because I didn't really plan ahead for dinner tonight, so that's what we're whipping together. Doesn't this look so yummy? 
We're gonna put this in the oven really quick. And I just have some frozen breadsticks that I always keep on hand and we're whipping together an easy dinner tonight. Just came out of the oven, it's all bubbly. We gotta hurry and feed these kids because Kruby and the boys are going. Got us some yummy breadsticks. I Yeah, for sure, we're gonna have it with some noodles. Oh, nice. We are out here at Cruz flag football practice. This is his first flag football practice. I don't know what it is, some kids are just born with it. They're just naturally good at all sports. And he is just one of those kids who's just naturally gifted at these things. So he's having a great time out there, looking like a champ, no joke. Little Kruby Doo, he's just focused, he's determined. All of those things just kind of come naturally to him. It's not something he really has to work at. It'll be great to see what he can do with this. Now, I won't overdo the flag football because tomorrow we've got two games. And so we're gonna bring you both of those tomorrow, both Crew and Brexton's first games. One of the cool things about where he's practicing today is that it's actually right at one of our favorite parks. This is Discovery Park. Brexton and Riley are playing over there. I'm gonna go hang out with them. Also keep a stray eye on Crew over here. We're gonna have a fun time here tonight as we wrap up today at Crew's first flag football practice. Still gonna send it. Holy cow, dude. <laughs> Ready? Hi, Daddy! <laughs> Rexy, careful, dude. You're super dizzy. Don't try and stand up by it. <laughs> now run as fast as you can. <laughs> Maybe take a break. <laughs> you guys think you're ready for this, bros? So let's get the twisty going. This used to be blue, I thought, and bigger. Didn't it? Yes. Yeah, and there's another one, I think. I swear, we have like a, oh my gosh, I'm not even, guys, I'm not even doing that. How are you going 10 times faster? Greg, what'd you do? You go like lean out and lean back in? That's called centrifugal force. We're doing science lessons right here at the park today. In fact, that's actually what this park was designed for. It's got little science lessons oh all God. throughout. <laughs> wow. I'm getting dizzy just watching you guys. I don't know how you do this. Thank you, dear. Uh, Thanks, bro. It is right there, bro. Say hello. You guys are gonna throw up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, how you guys feeling? You feeling like that pasta's coming back? Red sticks on their way back out. Braxton, you look like you're gonna die, dude. Okay. You okay? Greg, you good, bro? Oh my gosh, dude. I'm not even spinning you. How are you doing that? <laughs> it's a swing built for two. Literally, it's got a bar connecting them so they can keep their legs pumping together. They can get some epic swing action going here. Guys, looking good. Look at this. This is synchronized swinging right here. Heard of synchronized swimming? Yeah, this one's synchronized swinging. I feel like I'm about to get kicked in the face. Send it. Whoa. officially wussed out on the outside there. It is 95 degrees here. That is not typical early September weather in Utah. It is unseasonably hot. So we've got the AC cranking full blast. You can probably hear that. And we are sitting here watching crew practice in the comfort of the truck. So he's got about 10 minutes left of practice and we'll be out of here. We'll be back home and get ready for bed. Get ready to go to sleep because it's school tomorrow and early morning swim and two football games. Wow, we got a lot coming tomorrow. Good evening. What a day. What a great day. Could we it's do? It's kind of been a long day. Yeah, it does. It feels like this one day has been like four days. It's just been like the day that never ended, but now it's over. It's ended. <laughs> it was a good day. Because we had Kruby Doo killing it on the football field and on the I piano know. today. That was I'm pretty rad. I'm excited for his first game tomorrow and Brex's first game tomorrow. Brex has got his first game tomorrow, guys. Right guys upstairs playing on that PC still. He is learning how to edit videos. We got a lot more fun to come on yeah, that he's one. He's like crushing it on that. I'm he's kind of just excited. He's technologically minded. It's he like, like the perfect thing for him. He wants to make his own videos for his own channel. I know. So we're going to encourage him to do that. I think that'd be kind of cool. So he's playing with that. We are winding this night down. A couple little snacks, little last minute 
minute reading. Hazy girl. Preston's just, just sticking his bum in the air. <laughs> <laughs> With that, guys, we're gonna close this thing up. Tomorrow we do have two football games Mom mentioned. Yes. This week we've got Hazy finding out if her cast is coming off officially or if it's gonna be reduced it to a smaller cast. Off. Yes. We'll find that out on Thursday, I think. Yes. Stick around for that this week for sure. Many, many more fun and exciting things coming this week, guys. Tomorrow the kids are doing best dress for September 11th, honoring those yes. uh, involved in that. And so really cool because they're asking us tonight, they're like, now what's September 11th? Why do we dress up? So it was crazy. We were thinking about in our neighborhood, they set up flags in the front yards for, for most national holidays. And as we realized that these 16 year old kids who are setting up the flags weren't alive when it happened. No. Like that's mind blowing. The stuff so, that we live through is now in history books. It's just strange. It's crazy, you guys. Something you'll never forget. So we'll we'll talk more about that tomorrow. But tomorrow the kids are going to be best dressed. We've laid out their shirts and ties and everything for them to go to school. Cute. It's kind of cool that their school does that. We're going to get into bed, get them some sleep. We're going to be up early in the morning. Mom's taking Rag out to swim. I'm getting the kids ready for school. And that's how we bang them on a Tuesday, guys. We love you and we will see you tomorrow. See ya. Bye.